mentor and many of our coaches, when they work with clients, they think that whatever issue that the client had with the parent tends to be unconsciously that transference happens with the coach client relationship. And then also the client, the way they would parent their parenting style carries through with their clients. So they could be a helicopter coach or a neglectful coach or a um, authoritative coach or like uh, authoritarian coach. Well, and, let's simplify okay. because uh, there, there's all these elements, yes, but really there's only two primary elements that are occurring in the individual's mind. Okay. One is the self-concept. Okay. So if you think about how you're born, you start to be aware of the family, that you're in a family environment, you're supported, mm. you're taken care of, etc. And that's your world for a while. Then you start to realize, oh, there's a world outside of the family. Mm. So that's the other element, the self, the self-image, the self-concept, and the world. Because everything beyond your skin, essentially, is for you, it feels like it's outside. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm in here, in my body, in my mind, in my brain, and everything else is outside. So mm -hmm. the, those two elements are really important to understand that it's me and then there's the environment, mm -hmm. the universe, the world, mm -hmm. etc. Development, uh, how we experience ourselves and we how we create our life is that interaction between those two elements, mm -hmm. the self-concept and the world. The interaction between those two mm -hmm. is what we call our life. It's mm -hmm. our experience of it. So if if your self-concept is, I'm, I'm not confident, I'm not, you know, I don't feel uh, talented, I don't feel as smart as I other don't people. have authority. I don't, even. I don't have authority, I don't have power mm -hmm. to change things. Then you're at a disadvantage, right? And that stays with you for the rest of your life if you don't find a way to change it. Mm. On the other hand, let's say you feel pretty good about yourself, but you feel that the world is too challenging, too difficult, etc. Mm. That you can't, or that you feel animosity towards the world, that you're fighting. It's not fair. Yeah, you're mm. always struggling against it, trying to you know, push back. Then you, if you fight the world, you know who's going to win, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the world's going to win because it's, it's, it, it feels that much more powerful. So it, it comes down to that balance of understanding that, no, you have the power to, to make your life. So early on, the, the, the ego, our ego, is stamped with one order, and that is above all survive. Mm -hmm. So that's the first part of our life. How can I survive the family? How can I survive my kindergarten, my school, my first grade, all that, and develop that persona, that that kind of role that I'm going to be playing in the world? Mm -hmm. And then the the other part, of course, is that that message that we get from our parents of are they are they going to take care of me? Which means, is the world going to respond to my needs? Mm -hmm. So if those two things align, of course, we do pretty well. But most of us have to struggle a little bit, right, mm -hmm. to find our way to find that balance to where we feel powerful enough to do the things that we want to do, meaning that self-efficacy, self-confidence in us, in ourselves. And we feel that the world is going to respond to 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 take care of us in a sense to, to so have the family our is the wor our mini world and yes. then we go in the big world and we just carry that same those same assumptions That's about our self-concept so an authoritarian parent who doesn't let you have any kind of freedom mm. or insight to wisdom you may uh feel that you the world is your boss basically and you don't have really a sense of power right. within yourself because it's all projected onto the parent yeah. And then when there's a power struggle with the parent child, it's they they tend to carry that in adulthood where they are you know always fighting, always causing conflicts. Yeah. So it, the bottom line is this: whatever 
experiences you had early on about yourself and, and the, the self concept, that yeah. self concept and the world, mm -hmm. whatever it is, even if it was good, you want to do your inner work to understand that that doesn't define you, that those early experiences do not define you. It's not the end of the story. If it was the end of the story, we'd be in trouble because often those experiences leave a deep imprint on our psyche mm. and we go on through the rest of our lives carrying that and and it becomes the lens through which we see the world and mm. ourselves of course for well, the rest of our lives when we do inner work we're able to understand that oh that's just my persona in mm. essence that's the role i'm playing on the stage of the world mm -hmm. but it's not who I really am.